संदीप जी सो वट डू यू मेक आल गिव द पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल आई आई नो सम पीपल कॉन्ट सी द सेटेलाइट फोटोग्राफ सम पीपल सेंग दैट देर इज नो फायर प्रॉब्लम बट he is an official who goes there and you know why he went there i don't know but the sheer weight of the argument uh of the people has convinced them that lighting up things on fire actually prevents smoke uh why is the common sense been lost sir thank you rishabh ji for having me here and uh, i i just want to follow the first speaker dr baga you see uh, first of all i want to say that we are all in it together so whether it's the farmer or whether it's the resident of the city called delhi or other cities in punjab haryana and western uttar pradesh we are all in it together so we must resolve this together and all of the responses we have had uh, that is something i want to say to you is short term responses so whether it is the situation the way we are dealing in in on the question of parali and as dr bagai was saying parali solution is eminently reachable and has been demonstrated to be reachable we have decomposers we have machines which cut out the straw uh, so administratively if we do it better if we make sure of those costs involved if we make sure there's support involved the parali the decomposers need tractors to be carried so of all of those infrastructure which there that can be handled similarly in the cities we have this knee jerk response or a bandaid response called the aggregated response action plan particular to delhi uh, which again you know as you know it came out from citizen action it was the supreme court uh, which mandated the central pollution control board to go in for grab we have that but that these are bandaid short term solutions what you need is i, I think we are at the tipping point and as dr bagai was saying but as data is there not just the 29 body organs we are losing roughly more than 10% of our lives uh, these are silent killers and i i am only talking more generally if you look at children if you look at elderly the impact is much much more if okay. you if you look at women who are impacted so what we need are arshav chief bigger transitions even in urban areas what we need is not this kind of a monster of urbanization which okay. feeds on okay so Sand- sandeep ji now here's the problem okay and i yeah. want you to help me address it okay because i know yeah. the solution if the solution was simple we would have done them yesterday yeah, yeah so the problem is this and let me state it very clearly unless it makes practical and economic sense for the farmer to have an alternative to burning the parali he or she will burn the parali the person who is going to suffer the most is the person in the direct vicinity of where the parali is being burnt fact 1 fact 2 fact number 3 that unless we have a common sensical approach we will not find a problem and fact 4 is political expediency is preventing us blinding us completely hobbling us from seeing the smoke in the air no one not this or that no one is wanting to address it because those politicians are as concerned as this blue shirted government agent that if we were to say something tomorrow we'll only have been having to write the paralis or we'll be have burning our political careers for some reason so it's not a political issue that anybody wants to touch literally with a with a hot spoke how do we solve it sir my view is simple you see there is in our country on smaller scales but globally as well elsewhere in the world on some similar scales are demonstrated practices of what is called agro ecological farming uh, which is in sync with nature that is economically viable it feeds people and that it is of course climate resilient and long term it offers long term sustainability this is available now the problem uh, rishabh ji is farmers do not want to make the transition or are afraid of making that transitions because they do not know what the outcomes would be they're not convinced of okay, that okay so sandeep ji there are two things that, here okay uh, just two things just just i'm just having common sensical right. approach right yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. at one point of time in our lives and i'm probably the last generation and you you probably belong to the same that we remember that trash in our homes patta and and you know kachda used to be burnt you you once a month all the leaves that were gathered in the courtyard you put them together and you set them on fire you didn't think twice about it okay uh, it used to be a habit which is now dead okay uh, for most people uh, in even in your house you are unlikely to be lighting fire in your balcony or in your courtyard you 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 have a trash trash disposal system i know that's that's a separate complication but our burnings in our houses have stopped so it is possible 
the number two yeah the number two thing is that let's say let's say led bulbs okay we all have led bulbs in our houses the reason we have led bulbs in our houses are is because they are cheaper last longer simple as that okay so you don't have to convince me to be environmentally sensitive it economically makes sense to me how do we check those two boxes i think immense social education is needed i, I think we we need to generalize this education because you know uh, uh, all of us do not have the same information we are generalizing that so i think there's a big role in public education to make those what is called sustainable green and ecological transitions we, it's good that we have started in schools so the the young people who are in schools are much more environmentally conscious than even mine or and your generation rishabh ji so i think that's that's much more needed than it is currently much more higher scale much more higher campaigning i think the second part and i think that's important is the citizen engagement what i call the uh, people's engagement in uh, oversight and monitoring and their activism on these issues for instance it it would be quite an important step that if people were to go to courts if people were to go outside and actually contest on this whole question of how many years they are losing while they are electing these governments so i think to hold the government to account these are instruments that are better needed so one uh, greater social education uh, much more public engagement no, public no, so, education so, so here's here's yeah, the here's, here's the